There's something interesting about this game's existence, you know? There's something valid about it. There's something worth exploring. It's not good. But, like, why is it not good? We can talk about that, you know? That's how I feel. But it's not like I'm sitting here and I'm feeling like, oh, my time's wasted because I'm, I'm playing this piece of crap, <laughs> you know? I'm like, I could be playing a good game, I could be playing a bad game, and both are uh, equal wastes of my time. <laughs> At the end of the day, I mean, that's what we, that's what, that's what we as human beings, that's what we do. We waste our time. Because uh, there's, a, there's not that many valid things that are worth spending your time doing. It's rare that you come across a situation where you have like a something and you're like, oh, wow, this is very worth it. I just increased my firepower. I need some water. <laughs> Quick, Jack. The British are sending troops to recover their gold. They'll wish they had did. They would. They'll wish that they aren't. They hadn't done that. Oh fuck. Oh god. They're gonna. I. You. Oh no. Oh god. Did I win? God, I hate the ship battles in this. <laughs> Absolute worst thing. It's just like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, everyone. I hate this fucking... Stupid ass... Ugh. Go forward, please. Ugh, just kill me. I hate this combat. I hate... Oh, that was the last ship, too, and I lost a life. All I had to do was fire the freaking gun, and I couldn't do it. Ugh. I can't believe this game's still going, man. Well, well, Jack, you're proven to be quite a pirate. I only wish I had a better ship. My ship is old and slow. Aye, a new ship. How does a British Navy Corvette sound? Straight out of the dockyard. Sounds great, Sam. There's a brand new Corvette moored on the other side of the island. It's the last of the British ships round Crooked Cove. You'll need to go through the caves, Jack. The cave entrance in the jungle west of here. Thanks, Sam. Brand new ship is just what I need. Oh, God. All right. Back into the caves we go, boys. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and laze around. And if you ask us if we do anything, we will tell you we don't do anything. Picture this. It's 2003. You've got, you don't have an SP. You don't have a Game Boy Advance SP. You just got that original Game Boy. It doesn't have that, like, backlight. And you're sitting, you're sitting in your room and it's, like, midday. It's maybe, like, you know, 1236 on a, on a Saturday. And you're, you're, you're laying in your bed, and you got your, your Game Boy, your, uh, you know, your regular original Game Boy Advance. It's the, it's the blue one that's kind of slightly see-through. And you're sitting there, and you've got Pirates of the Caribbean, and you're like, man, that movie was so good. And my mom, my mom brought this home for me. She said, oh, man, it was in the bargain bin, and it was like two bucks. And you're like, gosh, I love that film so much. And you boot it up, and you're like, ah, oh, this blows. This is the worst game I've ever played. But you don't have anything better to do, so you sit there and you play through it anyways. And you get about this far, and you're like, I'm gonna go play outside. And then you never touch this game ever again. <laughs> and you have never finished it. And there's probably like, three people who have gotten this far in the game Cause nobody's be nobody's finishing. I mean, nobody's finishing this shit. It's not worth it. Those games I thought were pretty bad, but they're so short as to be kind of inoffensively like, yeah, I'll 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 play I'll play this for an hour. But like this game has no business being longer than that. Just no business whatsoever. Who's continuing this game? Who's who's picking this game back up on another day? Not a single goddamn person, you know. 2003, what, 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 what else came out in 2003? I mean, other than, like, the movies. Um, let's think. Video games, 2003. I mean, this is the GameCube era, right? The GameCube, Xbox, uh, PS2 era. 
Um, I think Kingdom Hearts came out in like 2001. 2001, 2002. Uh, you know? <laughs> like, these are, this is the caliber of game that is coming out. You gotta keep that in mind, alright? This is just like... Mom buys a game for her kids because she doesn't know anything about video games. And like, oh, she'll buy this on accident. Her kid will hate her for it, but she will do it. This guy's got a freaking pistol. It's not fair, dude. I kind of, you know, I kind of dig that feeling, you know? That you get from just being reminded of, like, how shitty things were at, at certain times as a kid. Like, cause games that I had that were kind of like this were, um, was like, uh, I, like, like I said, I mentioned earlier, I had, um, a Bionicle game. I was really into Bionicle. That, that's definitely something I, I plan on exploring at some point. If I can figure out how exactly to go about it. I would love to, they're gonna make me jump a gap, are they? There's no way I can make that jump. Like, uh, yeah, like Bionicle, the Bionicle game. God, that had some weird-ass mechanics. I never got very far in that game at all. Uh, but I did revisit it pretty recently. I think literally last year. Or it was earlier this year. I was, like, revisiting the Bionicle game. And it's not so bad. It's just repetitive and boring. <laughs> That's about it. It's not actually that hard. Um, but... Yeah, I'll share some of this stuff in the, in the, in the, in the future. We'll, we'll explore the Bionicle games at some point. Holy shit, did I actually just make that. Uh, just never expect me to do a jump like that again. Bastards, I can't believe they put that shit in the game. This'll be fun for kids. Fuck off. Literally all I can do is press the A button. You can't just give me, like, ridiculous combat like this. I'm, like, actually genuinely scared of... <laughs> of losing but there was there were actually other games there was a there was a lord of the rings game that i had that was based off the it was a lord of the rings like gba game and it was based off the book i did i barely got very far in that i got to the point where like the tree eats like sam or whatever and you gotta like save sam it's funny because we also had the lord of the rings super nintendo game i remember playing it with my dad and I think that's as far as we got in that game, too. It's like the part where the tree eats eats Sam. The thing about that that game, though, it was co-op. So, like, it ate. I was playing as Sam, and it ate me. So I didn't have a character, and my dad had to, like, figure out how to get me out, and he never did. So we just stopped playing because it literally just, like, takes you... Takes the second player out of the game. I mean, it's kind of cool. It... It... it, it kind of cool if you think about it but at the same time it's also not cool at all because it just meant i was sitting there not being able to play and my dad couldn't figure out how to fix it but yeah the, the gba game was also pretty trash um which actually maybe that's another thing we can explore the lord of the rings games there's a lot of those there was uh there's there's actually a pretty there's some pretty good ones like on the GameCube, like there is the 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 one everybody sort of remembers probably is the Two Towers, um, which is actually really fun. I remember just you know playing it at my friend's house and we just sat there played through the whole thing. It's actually a really fun game, kind of a a, a beat 'em up sort of type of thing, just a straightforward action game. Spikes look nasty. But they never made. I don't think they made a um, a game based off the fellow. The fellow. Fuck. I did. I literally just hit the jump button, and it just fucking. I'm gonna have to start the whole thing over again, aren't I? Oh, kill me. Yeah, there's no fellowship game. I think mostly because that game doesn't have a lot of, or the movie doesn't have a, like a lot of action. It's mostly just the hobbits sort of running away. Most of the movie. But the Two Towers is definitely where the, like, the, the wars start and the big battles. So it's a much more gamifiable movie. But there's also, there's a game that I really, I really thought was cool. I never finished it, but um, there's a game called The Lord of the Rings of Third Age. And it is a, like a turn-based RPG um, set, I think it's like during the event, it's literally during the events of the films. But with, like, an entirely different cast of characters. 
Um, and the only, I think the only character that like returns from the is Gandalf. He, he so so you can play as Gandalf for a little bit. It's wild. I remember it being like really cool. I remember actually really liking it. I just never finished it. Um, so that's a game I want to look at. Take a look at again. There's a whole bunch. This is a good era. This is a, this is a f interesting era for video games. I feel, I feel like people don't talk about it. I just realized it started me back with zero lives. Hold on, wait, how the heck do you get those? What, why? Doesn't make no sense. I was hoping it would give me back three lives. This is stupid. Why would you d have a continue function and then have it spawn you with no lives? So I only get one life. I mean, that's fine, but it's going to be stupid if I fall off the cliff again. The problem is, there's also a mechanic to, like, wa make me want to actually collect as many coins as I can. Because I get better stuff, and I'm like, that's going to help me later on. So I can't just run to the next thing. I'm not looking forward to this. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? How did I not make it? That was, like, exactly the same thing. Oh, I hate this game. Okay, okay, now now, now the game is making me hate you. Before, I'm like, it's inoffensive, but bad, and boring. Now I'm like, mad. <laughs> that was, that's bullshit. You don't put shit like that in a game that's like not designed for platforming and then have it so that if they fail it, they have to, they're just fucking dead. I almost died from the freaking pistol. That was no good. <sighs> I can't believe this. This is the kind of game you need to play on an emulator, because fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Give me save states, just for specifically for that reason. I really don't know how many more attempts of this I have in me. It sucks like he doesn't even let me run past everything, because I get locked into these fucking combat... ...battle things that I don't... I don't even want to participate in. I'm not interested. Come on! Are you kidding me? Shit is fucking awful. I have more patience than most people, but even I can only do this so many times before I'm just gonna say fuck this shit. You're kidding me! I died from getting shot this time! Oh god. <sighs> this is one of those where it's like, I might turn off the recording and just play a YouTube video or something until I figure out how to get across this thing and then I'll you know turn it back on but it like helps when situations like this you know when there's something you just got to do over and over again and you're like it's making you miserable uh, oh there's a power attack I didn't know that there's a power attack. The best thing to do is like turn on a podcast or something and just, just hack it out, you know? That's how I find I've made my way through some of the more harder games I've played in my life. It is why I, do, you know, I will say I never really understood why people like Dark Souls is so popular. Because I feel like that's definitely one of those games where it's like you just have to hack it out at some point, you know? Some, some bosses you just like, I can't fucking do it. You just hack it out. Or you go somewhere else. But there's a point at which you just kind of like got to hack it out. And I'm like, in those situations, I'm turning on... I'm turning something on. I got to have something in the, po in, the, in the background that I'm listening to. So I'm not paying full attention to, the, uh, to this. Because it's just... I need a distraction. I need something to distract me. So I'm not thinking about it too much, you know? Okay, so the, the way it works. Okay. So, I've tried to do this pretty late. I think I have to go later. Either that or there's like a specific part of the platform. I don't know how the hell I made it. The oh my god. Thank you. I did it. I did it. 
but, you know, I hope whoever put that in the game just burns in hell, please. You deserve the worst. <laughs> the worst. Why would you do that? You can't make a fucking kids, stupid kids Pirates of the Caribbean movie and have like a insta-kill platform jump that is just slightly too hard. That is ridiculous. That is insane. Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Who who do you think you are? Fuck, please don't die. I just, I can't. I can't. Come on! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Don't even, don't even start with me right now, okay? I, ca I can't. What? Fucking... Oh, get out of here, dude. I can't take much more of this. God damn it. I feel like this is so unfair. I feel like they don't have to hit my hitbox. It's just if I'm freaking close enough, but I have to hit their hitbox. I think this is bullshit. Fucking asshole. How? How are you countering me? God, I'm so mad about this. Fucking die. How come some of the battles are really easy and then others it's just like I can't fucking damage you? God. Oh, right, and I have to do this again. I didn't even remember this is how I died the first fucking time. God. Who the hell came up with this shit, man? Uh, just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. You know, just go for it. Okay, we just went for it, and we pulled it off, and I don't I don't want to live anymore. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. God, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do this. Please, end this level. I need this level to fucking end. I will say, I think the easiest angle to actually hit them at is if I'm at the very, like, bottom. Like, below them. Like, directly below them. I think I'm more likely to hit them. Okay, now, I don't trust this. If it drops a freaking trap on me, I'm gonna be so mad. So better not do that. This is like how what is what is up with this man? Why is this level so hard all of a sudden? What happened to this game that it just decided it was gonna be part as balls all of a sudden? It's just gonna stress me the hell out. Okay, I'm about to die. Come on. No! Oh, that pissed me off. Oh my god. I've never been more angry about this. Come on. There's no reason that he should be able to... Oh, fuck off. I can't believe this. I am so furious right now. Why is this level so fucking hard? It's got, it's got two pits I have to jump over. And then just a billion fucking bullshit ass enemies that I have to kill somehow. And it's it, it's just it's a gamble whether or not I just fucking hit. All I'm doing is hitting the A button. It's not like there's any strategy to it or tactics. The best I could do is get below and try to hope you could just spam hits and you just win. <sighs> okay, this is a game we're putting on hiatus. If I fucking come back to this game. It'll be a f fucking miracle.